looking for magic cards at flipsidegaming.com you can now use the promo code LVD to get a 10% discount on orders over $10 and you also get automatically entered into the M20 booster box giveaway which runs until July 15th. Yeah, why not? Let's give uh, Ravnica Gruul a, sh a shot. So red, green. How do we want to build this? Start with the multicolor cards. Probably want Ambush, probably want Domri. Maybe a couple Collision Colossus. Spellbreaker. Not sure if we want Rhythm of the Wild. Four mana Domri. Not sure if we want Sunder Shaman. Uh, probably want like a worm or two. And not sure about the Sunder Shaman, but could be okay. And what else? Let's take a look at the single color cards. Probably want Lava Coils as removal. Don't think we want Stinkin. Probably want War Boss. Maybe Krenko. Don't think we have room for Chandra. Don't think we need Frenzy here. Sarkhan seems good. And then we could also play the Hellkite at 5. And then try and fit in some mana creatures in green. Got Incubation Druids, Paradise Druid, Pelt Collector maybe. Maybe we don't want uh, Incubation Druid and just want Paradise Druid since that actually pumps a Pelt Collector. A um, bit low on early plays, I guess Growth Chamber Guardian also. Alright, this seems good. Alright, we need to make some cuts. Shave a Worm, shave some Hellkites. Maybe sh Sunder Shaman isn't necessary. Four Lava Coil, four Ambush might be a bit much. Is there a better alternative than Sunder Shaman at four? There's some decent options, but nothing incredible. Could always play Nissa. I guess Nullhide Ferox is an option if we play more creatures. And this is the constructed event, so there's no Rekindling Phoenix. Or rather the Ravnica constructed event. I've seen people play Nullhide Ferox, it's a bit awkward if you're playing all these non-creature spells. But it can be okay, just as a big 4 mana hexproof creature. Hey, Odin Skyfather with the 4 months, welcome back. Thank you so much for the continued support. Very much appreciate it. Let's try Nullhide and then just shave on the non creature spells a bit. Play more Hellkites. And then maybe. Play fewer of these 2 mana. Non-creature spells. Could try like minus two ambush. Something like this. Still need to make a couple of cuts. Yeah, Nikia can be okay. But at least with the Ferox we can still pay two, so we can then play Lava Coil and Ambush. Whereas with Nikia we just can't cast those. Let's maybe just not play the worm and then we're kind of missing the Lenor Elves at one mana as well we'll try two of each to start with maybe three Hellkites if we don't have a ton of ramp maybe 23 lands do have Domri and Paradise Root that can make mana Seems okay, and then we need to add the dual lines. So, stomping ground, and then probably want some number of guild gates. How many do we want? So, 
Right now we have 14 green sources and 13 red. It's not a bad number, but since we only have the one one drop, we can probably fit in a few tap lands. So how about we add two guild gates? This way we have uh, 15 green and 14 red. Seems a bit better. Yeah, we could also cut the uh, four mana Domri. Just gives us a bit of card draw outside of the Growth Chamber Guardian. The problem with Nissa is that it's kind of a number with Nullhide Ferox. So if we want to play Nullhide Ferox, then we probably can't play any five mana Planeswalkers. Is this post rotation gruel? This is just for the Ravnica constructed event, so yeah, technically post rotation gruel. Alright, let's add some fancy basic lands. Uh, which ones do we want? None of these look really gruel. Guess we'll go with M19 lands. All right. This looks fine. Let's see how this one plays out and whether or not we need to make some changes. Hand looks decent. Turn two Paradise Druid, turn three Spellbreaker. Turn four Halkite, perhaps. I think we'll just make it a big blocker. And then next turn we can play Helkai to maybe block the Hawk. I think we just play Helkites. And then we can use the Halkai to shoot down all those tiny creatures. Uh oh. The motion. Also removes the ability. So I guess this just has to attack now. Which is fine. Alright, so what are we doing? Probably just killing the Sunhome Stalwarts. Could also kill the Haza Marshals. I guess this can trade. Seems okay. Alright, opponent has seen enough. Next turn we could activate the Hellkite, kill Hawk and Haza Marshal. Just play defense for a second and then. Once we kill all their stuff, the Hellkite can start attacking alongside the second one. What are we doing here? Probably just play the Druid. And then next turn we can maybe play a Spellbreaker. Alright, that's a good answer to the Paradise Druid. Now what? If we play Guardian, then next turn we can play Domri. 
If we sp play Spellbreaker, then next turn we're playing Guardian. I think I would rather Guardian here. Even though against Demir, the Guardian might actually be more valuable if we can adapt to provide a bit of extra cards. But then we can maybe get Domri going. So this way we make it very likely that one of our two card draw engines sticks around, either Guardian adapting or Domri minusing to find more action. It's going to be Thoderish for taking Domri. But now we can adapt the Guardian. That's also pretty tempting. I guess just playing Ferox is better. Like, there's a small chance their opponent makes this discard and we can put the Ferox in play for free, but I'd rather just get it out there. Alright, Gefnet's pretty big. So we can just attack and play a 5 5 Falkite. What do I think about the upcoming series about magic? Well, we'll have to wait and see, but it looks pretty promising. Some talented people working on it. So this kind of implies they have some minus X minus X type effects. Maybe a crime of the Carnarium. All right, our opponent explodes. Curving out red and green creatures is pretty good, apparently. What are the rules for this format? You only get to play with Guilds of Ravnica, Ravnica Allegiance, and War of the Spark, and Gates of Blaze is banned, because the gate deck was too strong. Alright, so... We could play Ferox and then next turn pay 2 mana to play Domri, and have the Ferox maybe find something could just play a Domri here, but I kind of like getting this Ferox in play. Could also use Collision Colossus to maybe trample over the Fairy. Bounce Paradise Druids. That's fine. So if we want to use Collision Colossus at instant speed, we have to kill the Fairy, but sending 6 at the Fairy seems like overkill. So I think I would rather just attack and then replay Paradise Druid. Incubation Druid plus Domri's Ambush, yeah, that's a sweet combo, getting to put a counter on the Incubation Druid. Although it doesn't fight all that well by itself. This might be a bad idea. It's a lot of Incubation Druids. What happens if we main phase this Collision Colossus? Then we have a 10-powered Ferox, which they have to block in addition to the Paradise Druid. So I guess maybe that's fine actually, just main phase this. And then is it better to attack with the druids? Or is it better to play another one? Could also lava coil still. So we can start here. I guess Lava Coiling might be slightly better.
Because if we attack with a Paradise Root, they can just block with theirs, while here... We don't give them that choice. Opponent has to chomp, and falls to two. And they're still facing an all hide Ferox. And the next turn we can play Domri and maybe fight with Ferox. We'll see. If it weren't for Teferi, we probably would have killed them with Collision Colossus. They could have gotten in 3 damage, but they're dead here. I think. I guess they could have 2 mana interaction, but... Alright, well that was quite a beating. Nullhide Ferox kind of flexing its muscles. Well, this Gruul deck seems pretty strong. And the drawback on Nullhide Ferox isn't actually all that bad. As long as we don't play any, like, 5 mana Planeswalkers. So we'll need a bit of extra mana here. But Domri can also ramp us. Red Whites, Challenger. No blocks. It's a good draw. I think it, I'm happy playing the Ferox here. We've got another Ferox incoming. Then we can play either Domri or Hellkite once we reach 5 mana. And this is kind of a big roadblock for the opponent. It's pretty expensive for them to tap it down with the Enforcer. Can't really get past it with any burn spells or combo tricks. Fair enough. Hey, Lovey Franca with the six months. Welcome back. Thank you so much for the continued support and enjoy that new shiny badge as well. Very much appreciate it. All right. Do we want to play Domri and fight something? If we fight a healer's hawk, then they can pressure Domri. Could also collision to kill the healer's hawk. Or we can just play another Ferox first. But then it's going to be even more expensive to play Domri afterwards. So I think we do get Domri in play here. And they could spend their turn tapping down the Ferox with the Enforcer. But that's fine, then we can just attack them back and start racing. So their entire turn gone to deal with Domri. Is it better to play Ferox or a Spellbreaker here? Again, if we play the Ferox, then it's going to be pretty difficult to cast this Collision Colossus. I guess we still only need one land, or we can use a Paradise Druid, and it's going to cost us six. Yeah, I think playing Ferox is better. Attack for eight. And then maybe a Hasty Spellbreaker is enough next turn. Yeah, no light Ferox is quite a beating for a lot of decks. You really need, like, Kaya's Wrath to deal with it. Let's do one more. Alright, nice hand. This time we even have the Pelt Collector on turn one.
Let's play our guardian. And then hopefully Domri can ramp us into Hellkite. Opponent on a black-white aristocrat style deck. Well, this is gonna line up pretty well. Could be reasonable not to fight the Celebrant since there's some creatures that are potentially scarier. But I think this is fine. The beatdown is relentless. This could imply that a Chaos Wrath is incoming. Do they have it? They do. Alright. Well, that's the answer they needed. But we still get to play Hasty Hellkites. And we've got another one incoming. So this was a pretty brutal draw. Oath of Kaya kills Domri. Alright, now we might not be able to play Hellkite, never mind. Bam! Well, I guess if you're looking for a decent deck in the Ravnica Constructed event, a Gruul is not a bad place to be. Alright, sweet. So yeah, that's gonna be it for me today. I wanna thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed. And as always, have a nice day. I also wanna thank all my patrons for being part of the channel, and you can become a patron yourself today and decide the topic of future videos over at patreon.com forward slash legendvd.